War. They say it never changes. But war sure changes everything else around it. In the year 2077, nuclear war consumed the Earth, and atomic fire rained down from the skies. Those who survived, they did so in great underground vaults. And when they opened, those survivors set out to bring order to a chaotic wasteland. Some tried to rebuild society like it was in the old world, others formed new systems of government in their own image. <laughs> well, some people, well, they decided they liked this new world better than the old one and couldn't be bothered to rebuild at all. Some 200 years have passed since then, and while I wish I could say that was the last war to grace the Colorado territories, that simply ain't the way things played out. But where are my manners, friends? My name's Bert, jack of all trades and handyman of sorts. I do what I can to keep the lights on in this little slice of wasteland that we call Longmount, Colorado. Now, I know it ain't much to look at, but we got a saloon and, and a trading post, and of course, this old generator here, and well, that's good enough for us long mounters, well, especially considering all the troubles we've had in these parts as of late. Well, you see, a few years back, there was this army calling itself Caesar's Legion, and we're causing all kinds of problems just down the road a piece. Started in Arizona and spread like wildfire, slaving and conquering folks as far as the Mojave Wasteland and New Canaan and who knows where else. Now, the way some caravanners tell it, things weren't all so bad under Legion rule, once they, you know, got their fill of looting and slaving and pillaging, of course. But I don't put too much stock in that kind of talk, because the way I heard it, any settlement or tribe the Legion came across were either forced to kneel at the tip of a spear or, well, didn't live long enough to tell the tale. Well, thankfully, us here in Longmount was spared the worst of it. Seems the Legion picked a few too many fights out west and bet the farm duking it out with the new California Republic over some mighty fine real estate out in the Mojave. Story goes the Legion got sent packing with tails fixed squarely between their collective legs and well they've been on the run ever since. Well, that was more than a year back a ways and it's been pretty quiet around Longmount ever since. But things took a turn in the last week or so. Somebody went and broke into the power station and well they did a number on our reactor. Nearly broke the fusion core in half trying to pry the dang gum thing out. Now, I, I can fix it, but not without a little pre-war know-how. That's why I hired a crew to fetch a repair manual from the old abandoned Niwot library. We've only got about a day's worth of power left in this old thing, and well, then it's bye-bye reactor and bye-bye well, long mount. I just hope they find that manual and get back here before it's too late. And just like that, we're here, and we're ready to go. Hello, everyone. Players, how are we doing today? Hey. Doing great. Super. super. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. Well, viewers, hopefully you are all doing super as well. Uh, welcome, Wastelanders, to uh, episode one of A Fist Full of Neutrons, uh, Fallout 2D20 adventure told by us. Uh, my name is Ryan Danger. I will be your uh, mostly benevolent overseer uh, for this game, and uh, I'm host of War Games News Radio, the platform on which you are watching this right now, or perhaps listening to it in the future. Um, thanks so much, everyone who's back there, uh, for, for watching and tuning in uh, to this debut episode uh, of this bi-weekly live stream where we will be playing Fallout, the role-playing game by Modifius Entertainment. Uh, our plan is to go live on YouTube every other Tuesday, uh, sorry, Thursday, uh, so long as the fates allow, uh, and can't thank you enough for, for watching and getting it on the ground floor of this little experiment. Uh, and if you haven't already, uh, you can do us a solid and subscribe to WGNR on YouTube uh, for more Fallout RPG and Wasteland Warfare content, uh, and a chance to enter some giveaways, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, but you can also find us on uh, Instagram, and we've got a neat little Discord community on the go as well. You can find links to all of that down below, so hit that subscribe button and that bell wherever they are. I don't know, um, but please click them if you can. Uh, this game system is uh, only a few months old, and it's rather crunchy, so uh, if and when we inevitably make some goof-ups, um, just let us know, uh, and we'll try to, our best to course correct for next time around, uh, and and we'll see what we can do. But uh, as as mentioned, it's it's a little bit tricky, and uh, we're all coming out of Wasteland Warfare RPG, 
into 2d20 so uh, it's it's a learning curve but it's all it's all in the same backyard so i think i think we'll be good to go uh just one last thing before we meet our lovely and handsome cast of characters here uh is a very brief uh content warning um this is fallout uh, and as such uh it's going to deal uh potentially with some somewhat dark violent uh, and or sensitive subject matter uh, we're going to avoid going to any super icky places um but there there may be some some content in here which is uncomfortable for some viewers so um if you think that uh, something that might happen in the post-apocalypse might be something triggering or something you don't want to get involved with then this might not be the show for you but uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun and uh, with a little bit of a dark humor mixed in there so uh hopefully you'll stick around and uh, see what we've got in store but with all of that out of the way uh let's let's get down to business shall we uh let's go around this virtual tabletop and get to know uh our our folks um so uh we'll start with uh let's start with picking on hmm eeny meeny miny mo justin first why don't you tell us a little bit about uh yourself and who it is you'll be playing in our wonderful wasteland yeah, absolutely. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm a co-creator of uh, Fistful of Neutrons here. Uh, and I will be playing a character called Yuri Andropov. He is a, a ghoul priest with a mercurial past, uh, but a heart of gold. Uh, and uh, has just been wandering the wasteland for a few hundred years, helping out where he can. Um, kind of picture if, you know, uh, Clint Eastwood rolled into town, but he was like a nice guy who just happened to be sort of a corpse. Um, so that's uh, semi corpse like. So that's my character. Uh, I'm also a part time caravanner and I travel with a uh, companion, uh, a non human companion. She is my pack Brahmin called Enola May. I picked her up along the way uh, and for many years just traveled with her. Uh, until I met uh, my other two wonderful compatriots. Uh, personally, uh, I am a lifelong gamer and uh, started playing Fallout with the original uh, on the uh, ancient desktop that my family had in the uh, kitchen. So I've Commodore been with 64. this. Uh, yeah, I've been with <laughs> this uh, with this uh, franchise for a long time. I really love it, uh, and I'm super excited to see where Ryan as overseer uh, takes us. So yeah, it's gonna be a great campaign, I think. Well, wherever we go, we are going there together. Um, we're going oh. to weave a narrative tale. Uh, and as such, one of our weavers, one of our loom masters here, um, the guy who taught me everything I know about dungeon mastering and game mastering, uh, Grant, uh, tell us a little bit about the Rifleman. Oh, you. Um, so yeah, Rifleman is uh rifleman's got a voice and rifleman's voice is this i'm grant elliot charles kingsmith and before you ask uh my father had a terrible sense of humor the acronym is indeed geck he thought it was hilarious it's one of the many things i disagreed with him on i was born in the back of a trainer's cart uh my dad didn't want to stop long enough for my mom to give birth uh, in a stationary cart. So uh, my first memory was shooting bloat flies with a handmade 38 rifle. My mom died when I was about 16. Uh, we think maybe radiation did it. And uh, it didn't take long for the bad relationship I had with my dad to deteriorate further. And we exchanged some hostile words when I was about 17 and I shaved my head took my rifle and joined the closest uh, military or paramilitary outfit I could find. Spent the next uh, better part of the next three decades basically going from job to job, uh, let's just say shooting more bloat flies than I could count. Hmm. I crossed paths with Yuri a few years ago and uh, at first I didn't think much of him but uh, I came to see the error of my ways and it's been refreshing to follow a guy around that's got some principles after being a mercenary for a while i almost forgot that i had any so that's grant he is a sniper uh he likes long walks on the beach uh he's a scrappy fellow uh definitely likes bartering uh he likes scouting ahead he's got a dog named duke that's uh that's a very good mutt um 
he is he's a little bit cautious uh grant is uh he second guesses himself a lot uh and i'll save the rest for when we get started um like justin i had an ancient pc i i actually couldn't play fallout on it when it first came out so my first fallout game was actually fallout 2. Uh, i tried tactics and at the time i couldn't figure out even how to control it i still have the game i think i will try to re retro play it uh but I loved Fallout 3. I don't know how many hours I spent playing that game. Fallout New Vegas, I spent hundreds of hours playing. Uh, of course, Fallout 4. Actually, haven't played Fallout 76, but I hear it's interesting. Uh, and a point it's about good. crunchy game systems. I'm really looking forward to 2D20. I like crunchy game systems because they stay crunchy even when they're in soggy milk for a long time. <laughs> and with that, I'll pass it on. It's so crunchy. It's so crunchy. Um, we're we're definitely uh, there was some stumbling blocks in our first uh, first sort of session zero and session zero point five, which you can watch the replay of session zero point five uh, on on our YouTube here. Um, but I think we've worked out most of the kinks. But uh, yeah, there will be as mentioned some some moments. But crunchy crunchy is good uh, coming off of Wasteland Warfare, which was a little loosey goosey. Um, Rifleman, I'm so excited. There's so much going on there. There's a lot of lot of neat character notes, and the actor, your name is Gek. I mean, come on. I would yeah. if you didn't say that, I would have probably never noticed, and I'd love that. <laughs> um, moving on to the last member of our uh, little ragtag group here uh, is uh, Raj, Mr. Rozzy Rhodes. Uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us about the uh, the the ever loving Johnny Bottle Cap? All right. Thanks for that wonderful introduction, Ryan. Uh, my name is Raj, and I play the character of Johnny Bottle Cap. Johnny is, for lack of better terminology, a lovable idiot. He has an act first, ask second mentality, which creates lots of opportunity for things to go sideways. Johnny, above all else, has a heart of gold and generally wants to do good. He's very charismatic and can handle his own in a firefight, surprisingly. Uh, <laughs> he has always been a very lucky fellow. In fact, that might be the number one quality that you would ascribe to this individual is his luckiness. It really helps explain how he's made it this far in the wasteland and managed to still stay alive. Uh, Johnny is a former vault dweller where experiments were performed on all residents. Some of his vault 86ers uh, emerged with experiments that highly enhanced their cognitive abilities, while others like Johnny came out of the experiments with what you would say perhaps a greatly diminished cognitive capacity. <laughs> Thankfully, he has his trusty teammates to keep him pointed in the right direction. Um, an interesting perk that Johnny has is Mysterious Stranger. Uh, this yes. unknown entity seems to show up just at the right times to save Johnny from total catastrophe. But just as quickly as a stranger shows up to save the day, uh, they're gone just as fast. Ninja Dust. And that's that's Johnny Bottle Cap in, in a nutshell. Um, Personally, with my experience with Fallout, has uh, my first Fallout gaming experience was with Fallout 4. Um, and probably my favorite and most enjoyable Fallout experience was with New Vegas, uh, which I'm, I'm sure I'm in, in familiar company with a lot of individuals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, really looking forward to taking this new gaming system out for a rip and see, see what it's capable of. Absolutely. And and out for a rip, we, we shall take it. Um, good old... Johnny Bottle Cap, uh, I like I like the the eighty sixers. That's a that's a fun that's a fun little uh, storyline we'll go through. And Mysterious Stranger is going to play in really well with this very lucky individual somehow. Uh, I think that really explains a lot of how we might have made it made it this far. Uh, luck is another fun mechanic in this game, um, which which I think we'll be able to have a lot of fun with specific, specifically with Johnny. Uh, and uh, you can find out all about that by looking in the. Good old fashioned Fallout rulebook. Look at this. Ooh, so nice and fancy. Nice. It's 400 plus pages of awesomeness. It's so heavy and it's so great. Yeah, she's thick. Oh, she's real thick. It's it's chunky. Um, a yeah, weighty it, tome. It is. It is a weighty tome. If you would like to get your hands on this, of course, uh, you can check out another link in the description to the Modiphius uh, website, and we will also be able to get your hands on this cool set of custom dice. We will be giving away uh, a set of these of these dices, of these dies, uh, and all you'll have to do is uh, subscribe to WGNR and leave a comment on the uh, on the video replay of this uh, video when that comes out. And uh, yeah, we'll do a draw in uh, before the next um, for the next episode, which will be in two weeks. And away we go. But with that, I'm going to crack open this lovely 
case here. Ooh. Get that. Oh, that new mm. dice smell, mm. and we Touched by the hands of the overseer himself. <laughs> Those well, are no. chonky boys too. I mean, Those are some beefy boys. It's COVID, so I'll, I'll send y'all. Uh, whoever wins, I'll send y'all a, a new a new case. Don't worry, it won't, be, it, won't, it won't be these ones that I've been sniffing and licking for the past for the past five minutes. But um, you will get your hands. If I want the ones uh, you've been licking, can I? Is that a separate entry? That's that's, that's for that's for my OnlyFans. Yeah, absolutely. Like the um, or... <laughs> yeah. Um, these are some chonky dice. They're huge, especially compared to the White Wasteland Warfare skill dice. So I'm very excited to get these. Roll and do a test roll. There could be worse. Could have been better. Um, but with with that all out of the way, let us get into the wasteland. Um, we open on a small caravan somewhere in the post-nuclear wasteland known as the Colorado Territories. The road uh, offers little, little shelter from the afternoon sun, but there is a dry, cool wind uh, which is taking the edge off the daytime heat as you make a much needed pit stop on the side of a ruined highway. This breeze, you can feel it coming down off the eastern slopes of the Rocky Mountains, uh, which you can see towering above the foothills some 50 miles uh, off to the east in the distance. At a glance, your menagerie would look like you know, any other traveling caravan anywhere in the territories, but on closer inspection, uh, you might be surprised to find um, that you three have chosen to travel together as companions. It's fairly rare, I would say, to see a vault dweller a hired gun and a ghoul all in the same place, let alone working together. What's more is you three are not alone. Uh, a spry German shepherd uh, naps at your heels, rifleman, and a two-headed pack Brahmin uh, is leaning up against a large rock trying to get what little shade she can um, as Duke and Enola uh, are also getting a reprieve from the heat. You three and your companions have seen a lot of activity in the last 24 hours. While visiting the ragtag settlement of Longmount, you picked up some work, contract work, uh, in the form of a good old-fashioned fetch quest. The town's generator was in dire need of repairs, and the local handyman, by the name of Bert, contracted you all to retrieve a copy of Mr. Fixit's Guide to Home Nuclear Reactor Repair from the ruins of a library in the nearby city of Niwot. You were able to retrieve uh, the repair manual after a tussle with some raiders and even had a tangle with some super mutants on your way out of the city ruins that went a little bit cattywampus, but you made it out. And more importantly than that, you also were able to discover that not all was as it seemed in Longmount, especially where the reactor was involved. It turns out that the reactor was actually damaged by the raiders that you fought in the library, who had been hired by a local merchant by the name of Honest Abe. Reading that holotape revealed Honest Abe wanted to get his hands on the nuclear reactor's fusion core and hired the raiders to do so, but things didn't go so well with his plan. But you now have the repair guide in hand and the library is in your collective rear view mirror. Long mount, some three hours, 15 to 20 miles, somewhere between that, off in the distance. And there is a reward of 50 caps waiting for you at the end of the line should you turn that magazine into Bert and help him with his reactor woes. How's the pit stop been? What have, uh, paint, me, paint me a word picture. What are, what are you all doing right now as you're, as you're sitting on, on the road? What's, what's, a, what's a break look like for this, uh, for this group of travelers? Yeah, I think uh, Yuri, uh, anytime that he stops, he's very attentive to Enola, so like, I will approach Enola and readjust your straps. So they are loose here and let's keep inventory and uh, continue through. Hmm, yes, I have this and this and sort of a continuing rolling uh, inventory and sort of mental checklist and, and easing any uh, uncomfort that she might have. So uh, I think that's kind of just what I'm doing uh, and, you know, casting uh, glances around to the horizon just to make sure we're not being uh, snuck up on. Not that I'm worried about it. I mean, if somebody wanted to, they could, but you know, being f fairly wary. 
And I think that's pretty much kind of what I am as we were having this little bit of a, a reprieve. Yeah, and Enola's receptive to this. There's, as usual, you seem, the, the, the grumpier head of, of hers is is sort of put off by by your constant fiddling with, with her straps, but uh, but the other head, whether which one's Enola, which one's May, I'll let you decide, um, starts uh, sort of giving you giving you the nuzzles, looking for mm. looking for that ever loving ear scratch. Yes. Oh. yes, dear. Whoa, no snapping. Oh, cow snugs. Cow snugs. That's why everyone tuned in today. Cow snugs. <laughs> the cow snug. Johnny, um, how how have you been doing um, since uh, since the uh, the tangle the tangle with with El Mutis? Uh, so Johnny's kind of singularly focused on just returning back to turn in their objective. He's he's got that repair manual like in his hand, it clutched firmly. He's just got this gleeful pride about himself that they have retrieved the thing they set out to retrieve and. He can't wait to hand it to the guy they said they'd hand it to. So he really doesn't care about basically anything else. Nice. He's he's a singular focused individual. I can get behind that. Um, Rifleman, what uh, what have you been doing the last uh, the last little while? You're uh, and, uh, and and is is Duke uh, accompanying you on whatever you may be up to? Oh, he's uh, Duke is always accompanying me. I'm uh, I'm giving him a bit of water. You know, it's a hot day. Um, I'm a bit I'm a bit further away from the group. I like to keep eyes on them, but uh, I'm about 50 yards up the hill, say, uh, or if there's any sort of high spot, any building, I'm I'm sort of lurking. I'm uh, I'm scanning. I don't really relax when I'm in unfamiliar territory ever. I'm always perceptive, trying to see what I can see and so forth. So uh, that's checking my ammo and oiling my gun, probably doing a bit of stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we traveled for long enough together that I can kind of like read. You're you're a quieter person. You don't you know say a lot when we're on the road. But I think that I can read your body language at this point and like know if there's anything up from from that distance. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't ever oil my gun when uh, I, I got to use it. Yeah, exactly. The, the the sign the sign that you're doing weapon maintenance at all is is a good one. I can I can get I can get behind that. Yeah, you you you, yeah. you can't can't be cleaning if you're too busy shooting and and vice versa. Um, while while you're up there, um, Mister Mister Rifleman, uh, you can see um, in the in the distance um, there is you, you can't quite make out Longmount from here. There's you know the, the terrain is getting a little hilly uh, in this area of of the territories you're you're not quite in the foothills but you know there are some some slower rolling valleys so you can see the road winding off in the distance but you can't see your final destination but you can see um a a road sign off off in the distance um you it wouldn't take take much to uh to peep through um wait you have a scope on your gun before i say i that? sure do yeah it's a scoped hunting rifle uh, I, it is i i thought i recalled us get, getting you a scope at some point um yeah uh you're you're able to peer through there uh and see that there is a um a road sign saying that long mount is about um 15 miles uh, up up to the north uh, and there is um another um another location underneath um, you can't quite make it out uh, from from this distance without without perhaps focusing uh, or, or getting up a little bit closer. But um, you you didn't notice it. Uh, you're on, you're on the same stretch uh, on of highway that you were on between Longmount and the library. But now on the way back, you notice uh, a turnoff and an exit that uh, you didn't quite see before. Um, I'm 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 peaked. You're, Interesting. Interest interest is peaked. Um, while while you're I'm... all. Sorry. Thought I knew these territories, uh, so I'm I'm very curious. It's 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 curious indeed, curiouser and curiouser. Um, you um, all took a little bit of damage, if I recall, from your um, your last adventure with the mutants. Um, uh, how how is everybody doing health wise? Uh, is a good moment to go over some mechanics, where uh, if you wanted to do perhaps some first aid to re try to regain some hit points, and or uh, take any uh, food items, and or chems that you may take that might remedy some of that. I can't remember who got the worst of it, but I remember somebody I getting beat up pretty bad. Yuri got Yuri got banged up quite a bit uh, by those super mutants, taking a few super mutant punches to the torso. So I actually lost 
uh, four of my maximum ten hit hit points. So I'm sitting at uh, oh. six, so sixty percent. Uh, okay. Luckily, I uh, do have medicine as one of my tag skills, and Yuri is the very intelligent man. I he studied uh, many, many years, a couple lifetimes. So, um, uh, Johnny, did you uh, were you injured in the uh, in the scuffle with uh, super mutants back there? I, I I don't I don't think so. I I, I had my head down pretty good. Uh, you see how I got that guy though. You see I got that guy. It, it was it was very good uh, until you shot those two innocent men. We must have discussion about uh, trigger discipline and uh, rules of engagement. You don't normally shoot the people we are attempting to save. Yes. Well, mistakes do happen. In, yes, indeed. Um, but you are uh, hale and healthy, correct? Uh, I'll, I'll actually give him a once-over real quick. Sure. Um, and just, like, a real quick assessment of his uh, of his hit points. Grab his sleeves, look at him yeah, up do and down a little. Kind of give him a pat down, an ocular pat down. Uh, ocular pat down, yeah, for sure. Um, well, if you're you're not uh, hurt in any way currently, um, no injuries or anything like that. So yeah, Johnny has looks looks the picture of, of health, despite uh, when uh, we saw him last time was face to face with a super mutant. Um, for for a good portion of that combat, and somehow walked away unscathed, which. Luck, luck points are a hell of a thing. Um, but you yourself, you 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 know, while doing this, you know, even you notice some of your even with your ghoulie bits, you don't have all of your bits normally, but you notice that you're missing uh, a, a couple of. Unfortunately, I was not as uh, lucky as you, Johnny. Uh, I kind of like touch touch my torso a little bit, and it's very tender, and I think I might even feel like a couple crunchy crunchy bits in my ribs. And I don't the, think I, it's supposed to sound like that, pal. I, I believe you are correct. I believe I have broken a few ribs in that encounter. I will take a moment to uh, perform some first aid. You I don't actually... Uh, I have a stim pack, but I don't want to actually use that. I think that's like an emergency measure. Okay. So what if I just like give myself some uh, some field medicine here? What would you like me to roll for you that? You can absolutely do that. Uh, to regain some hit points, uh, you can. Um <clears throat> Do an intelligence plus medicine test, uh, and you will heal a number of uh, hit points equal to your rank in the medicine skill. Um, well, good first news. Roll, first roll. First, first roll. I'm so excited. Yeah. High numbers only, please. I'm, I'm resisting um, the urge to spend action points against you on your first roll just because I, I, I don't want to. Um, I want really to, but I don't it. want to. Um, yeah, so if you want to do uh, an intelligence plus medicine check, uh, what is your medicine skill number? Well, my medicine skill is actually it's one of my tag skills. Oh, well. So I believe that gives me an automatic two, correct? Uh, automatic two uh, if you succeed. So any success is counted as a critical uh, success. So you'd be putting together your intelligence and your medicine um, stats to get your target number, and then you would be trying to roll at or below that target number with two Perfect. D20s. So my intelligence is nine. Uh, oh, Yuri is a very in intelligent man. Uh, and my medicine is a two, so my target number will be 11. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and roll my 2d20 here. Now, uh, you before you jump into it, you can spend okay, yeah. uh, action points that you currently don't have. We're starting you guys off at zero for this, for this first session. Um, so you could give one to me essentially uh and and up your chances so if your medicine is you said it's two or three it is two it is two uh, okay i don't think that i'm going to uh tempt the gods uh just yet i okay. think I, I think i'll just rely on yuri's innate ability so i need uh two two d20s rolled at 11 or lower so yeah. i'm gonna go ahead and roll those now and that is an 18 not great but a seven. So I did get one success, which I believe okay. counts as two. One success counts as two. Uh, for this, uh, you only need, uh, it's only, it was only difficulty one test. In fact, uh, it's mm -hmm. just difficulty. You just need to succeed uh, and you will gain uh, hit points equal to your medicine skill. Uh, so you will get two additional hit points healed. Had you have banked an action point to me, you would have gained an additional hit point on that. So that's healing. I, I think I'm okay with the way that that uh, shook out. We just See, learned I how think, to heal. Uh, I think 
you just see kind of Yuri on the side of the road, uh, mumbling to himself or even talking to maybe Enola May and uh, and binding his ribs a little bit up. Yep, fair fair enough. Uh, I won't make you go and spend any any of the junk materials that you spent on on spending any. Um, we're not going to get that granular. I will make not you that crunchy. if you run out of ammo. I'm not going to let you shoot any more ammo, but I won't make you spend junk on on tying things up. Uh, it is about midday ish. Um, you have about three hours on your journey left. Um, is there anything y'all wanted to do before uh, heading out? onto the road. Is there any uh, sort of salvaging of anything? Any um, items you want to use? You want to examine that hollow tape? Uh, again, well, you already know what's on it, but is what would you like to do? You are in the driver's seat team. Uh, I, I would like to do a quick scan for any other, uh, let's say, human presence or, or beasts, threats, any threats. So let's do a threat scan. Sure. Uh, I'm excited about all this rolling that's happening. So I think that's uh, that's just a straight up perception check. Is that right? Sure. Let's let's go with that. Uh, I mean, just to, to kind of give a, a regular sort of look around. Well, you know, let's 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 keep in the in the sense of, of the um, you know, the two d twenty ness of it all. Let's make it a perception plus survival check. In survival, fact. So, awesome. So we'll okay. Do that. I believe you're pretty good at that. Yeah, survival. I got uh, two skill points. My perception is eight, so I'm rolling under a ten. Okay. Two d20s. Oh, I don't make it. I'm I'm looking through the wrong end of my rifle or something. <laughs> I don't see anything. What what did it's you? It's hot. Roll? I rolled a 17 and an X. Complication. Oh, a complication. There goes I'm a my complicated guy. <laughs> you are a complicated man, and no one understands him but his woman, Grant. Grant Raffleman, can uh, you dig it? Um, yeah, so you mother. you you give a scan. He is a bad mother. Um, you give a scan. Sure. You know, you're 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 peeping, you're peeping around. Um, you you don't you don't see, you don't see anything. Um, anything that that would really really catch your your attention as as of such. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead and just make just make a note of that. Man, I really yeah. hope that doesn't come back to be a problem for us at any point in time. Ah. Well, Oops. We'll, we'll see. I hope this doesn't add any complications to our quest. Down, down the line. Seeing nothing, um, I'm going to head back to my uh, to my compatriots. Uh, give uh, Anola May a little uh, neck scratch uh, in that spot she likes, and uh, I'm going to say um, I'm going to do my voice mod because that's that's a fun little program. Uh, all right, lads. Uh, I, I didn't see anything uh, around. Um, there is a turnoff here that uh, I haven't noticed before. Maybe we can check that out another time, but we should probably get back to Bert. Uh, I know that there was a time limit on this uh, fusion core problem, and uh, I wouldn't mind having a talk with Honest Abe, if you know what I mean. And I'll look over I... at uh, at Johnny and, and Yuri and uh, give them the knowing eyes. He's got some answers to do, for sure. I did want to speak to you gentlemen about this. Uh, I know Long Mount uh, quite well, and there is no semblance of uh, lawman or sheriff uh, in the town or the territory around. This leads me to um, a conundrum, a moral quandary, as I am wont to find myself in. Um, we are mercenaries yes but uh, judges and executioners we are or maybe not this is uh, perhaps best left in the hands of the townsfolk to decide what they would do and Abe in my opinion should have a opportunity to defend himself against these uh, allegations that we are bringing against him he should be accountable to his townsfolk, so I agree with you, Yuri. I am happy to hear that, because the last two human beings that we ran across did not come to such magnanimous ends. Um, and Grant, I know that you have a certain frontier justice sensibility. And do you agree that maybe we should consult the townsfolk and see what they best would like? 
Well, I'm not in a position to judge, but uh, the people should know. Certainly, Bert. We'll let, uh, in, in my opinion, we tell Bert, let Bert deal with it. If Bert needs something done, uh, maybe we can earn some caps in the process. What do you think? Uh, yes. I believe that maybe we should round Carla uh, as well, and perhaps any other uh, elders of the town and discuss with them uh, best course of action, perhaps. I, I agree, not... Johnny. Yeah, that works Good. for me. I would not like to force you, Grant, to be mm, a gunman of sorts. Uh, no one's forcing me to do anything. But uh, I'm not going to waste ammunition unless it's uh, strictly necessary. This so is weighing cold. heavily on me, gentlemen. I am glad. I am glad that we have come to this accord. Yeah, and I think with that, uh, Yuri is pretty satisfied. He, I, I think he just didn't want to go in there and be like, "You son of a bitch, we found your fucking betrayal," and just Cap -cap -cap. Cap and people. Cap Hold and people your hands, you town. son of a bitch! Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 For our audience, can we uh, can we just recap uh, how it is that we? Absolutely. We know that uh, this merchant, Honest Abe, has been uh, dicking people around a little. For sure, yeah. For for those who haven't watched the uh, session 0 0.5, um, our lovely crew uh, here while retrieving this magazine uh, to help Bert uh, of Longmount repair the town's reactor and thus save the town, uh, it was revealed through a hollow tape, which Johnny now has in his possession, that uh, the merchant in town by the name of Honest Abe is not so dang honest. Uh, in fact, not he, so dang honest. No, he he hired a group of raiders to uh, attempt to steal the fusion core out of the uh, the town's reactor uh, and sell it uh, for 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 some reason. Uh, the the I believe, uh, looking back in my notes, the holotape indicated that um, do 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 do, do uh, that. He, you would, um, yeah, uh, your crew screwed up. I asked you to steal the fusion core, not break the thing in half. Um, uh, if, uh, uh, wait, so I pay the thing in half. Uh, the clock is ticking and my buyer is getting impatient. Mm, so it's, it looks like, uh, Honest Abe had a buyer for the fusion core of the town, betrayed the people, hired these dipshits to come in, steal the core, Blah, blah, blah. So we kind of, like, we got him dead to rights, but, like, also... Uh... But also, man, Ed, the Wasteland's a wacky and wild place. You never know what's going to happen. But you seem to have some some red-handed proof, and uh, you were... It, it was a lucky... A, a series of lucky uh, rolls which were able to... Uh, to get y'all to decrypt this corrupted hollow tape uh, to, to reveal all this action. It was a difficulty three test. It was a difficulty three test, and you nailed it. Uh, getting, getting all the bits and bobs uh, of information from from said said hollow tape. In fact, more than you even thought you'd get. So, um, end of the day, yeah, you've got some pretty hard uh, pretty hard evidence against our buddy Abe. Um, but how you want to deal with it is up to you. Because in that said hollow tape, uh, he also requested that uh, a copy of the Mister Fixit's guide. Um, so, should you want to go the other way? Karma blue, karma red. Uh, you could talk to Abe about the whole situation too, and uh, try to perhaps you know do the skullduggery route. Um, but that doesn't sound really like uh, a, a, a a a noble a noble quest, a hero's journey to me, does it? This magazine right here. You mean this one? You mean the magazine you guys have? So you got a couple buyers for the magazine. And uh, the the fate of Longmount holds in the balance. Um, I should ask: is was that conversation pre on the road or whilst roading? I, I think as we're on our way back, that's a pretty that's a pretty good conversation to have post like uh, Johnny going gun nut on people. <laughs> and it's a good perk. It's it's in the game. It's called it's gun nut. It's there to take. I don't know what you. <laughs> Um, and yeah, just I think that's a very natural thing that we're on our way back and kind of chatting about what we're gonna do. Sure. Got an like, idea. Uh, how are we gonna play this? And like, I got an idea. Right? Yeah. Johnny, Johnny, and Yuri. Uh, maybe we go back to Honest Abe and tell him that we've got the magazine. We think he's gonna want it. Um, if he does, and we use that 
I'll go talk to him. You guys talk to Carla, talk to Bert, and I'll try to get Honest Abe to come out into town. We can do a little uh, public confrontation thing. I'll scamper off. I'll stop oiling my gun. And uh, if things go sideways, you know what I'm going to do. It's a sting. Oh, oh that sounds you... pretty sneaky. I like it. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Uh, I love this idea. This is very good, Grant. I did not know that you had such a knack for subterfuge. However, uh, Johnny, um, do you have the ability to record on your Pip-Boy? Uh, there's got to be a record button on this thing somewhere. I have fucking crazy science. Can I just show him where the fucking record button is? <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, I looked up what the Pip-Boy can do. You can take notes um, on it. And I think, and just for the sake of, I just like that you guys came up with that. Um, yeah, sure. It has a fucking voice mod f feature on it. Why wouldn't it? It's a personal computer from space that you can plug into. I'm, know, I'm sure it has a microphone. I powered mean, by radiation. Like, yeah. how could it not? Uh, have it's got a Geiger right? counter. You're telling me it doesn't have voice record on it? Like, it's my, my iPhone's yeah, got This that. fucking Yak Boy has voice record on it. This thing, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I, I believe I love this idea. But however, perhaps Grant and uh, Johnny, you could go together to speak to Honest Abe and perhaps pr position yourselves as... Uh, ne'er duels who are uh, willing to steal the fusion core and uh, 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 sell the magazine to screw over to the town while I speak to Carla and Bert and we could perhaps have him admit uh, on tape uh, to present as evidence thus uh, effectively washing our hands of the whole accord I just uh, I nod at you Yuri and I look at Johnny and uh Give him a little, <laughs> give him a little wink. At, at this part, I really want to turn to Yuri or uh, Johnny and say, Johnny, it is imperatively important that you tell me what do you understand of this plan. Well, yeah, we're going to go get Abe to, to admit to his, his nefarious doings. And I'm going to catch it all right, right? Uh uh, whatever says record, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna. I put a, I put a tiny piece out. of red tape. I put a tiny piece of red tape next to the record button. <laughs> Remove one piece of junk from your inventory. No, I'm just kidding. Oh goddamn. Um, um <laughs> love it. That's a that is a brilliant, brilliant plan, gents. Uh, where's I, where is the hollow tape that we the evidence tape that we have already? Uh, I would like to take it. I think we played it in Johnny's Pit Boy, and no yes. offense to Johnny, I'd rather that he presses record and not play. So I think I'm going to take the hollow hollow tape right now, if I if I can, if you don't mind, Johnny, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I just hit that eject button. Where were that bad boy was at? <laughs> like play. <laughs> like oh, my, my my mistake. Here we go. <laughs> so, I'm old enough to remember recording over VCRs, so. Uh, hey. Let's not do that. Yeah, the threat is real. The threat is real. <laughs> record over the evidence that you have. Nice, yeah, nicely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to Yuri subtly. I'll just sort of hand it to him, just low key. Nice. No problem. Yeah. So yeah, I think that uh, that's a that's a nice little plan. I think that we're gonna go go ahead. Let's do it. That's about as good as good as any. Um, as you uh, are traversing uh, the the cracked and broken asphalt of of this lovely wasteland we call the Colorado Territories. Um, it is, you know, it, it's probably an hour or an hour and a half into your uh, three hour journey um, where um, you you come to that, that sign that you saw uh, Grant earlier. Um, and uh, you're able to to now make out it was, it, you know, it's not magical, you, you missed it because when you were heading in the one direction, it was a, a quick turn off of a, a quick, quick, um, small hill and a very sharp left, uh, which is now a very sharp right, uh, coming, coming up to it. Uh, and you can see now, um, that it is a sign that says the Watson's Valley Scenic Overlook Information Station. So that is a, okay. should, should you choose, there is a location there where if you gentlemen wanted to engage in a scavenging scene, you could, that, yeah, it comes up, <laughs> location discovered. Um, Five experience points. No, just kidding. Uh, Watson Valley Scenic Overlook Information Station is Watson. nearby. Uh, so you can make a note of that uh, should you decide to venture there at any at any point. A random location is there. Um, 
But as you indicated, uh, perhaps it's something to investigate at a later date uh, as you continue continue your journey down the road. But um, it's it's not too much further past the, the Overlook turn off when uh, I'm going to need to get Grant to roll me a T100. If, if possible. Sure thing. We are going it's, to go uh, ahead and uh, I'm using a uh, random encounters table. Yes, that... Uh, that. The actual D100. We've, we've got the D100. Should we want to go that yeah. way too? Um, so for complications, uh, while you guys are on the road like this, I'm so happy that this happened to come up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a random event table, which I was able to find on the Modiphius forums. Uh, this one is one of many uh, 100 encounter tables um, that a uh, fantastic and prolific user on the forums by the name of Mort Mortagon, Mort Mortgoin, Megatron, uh, I, I, my dyslexia is bad with lots of vowels. Um, but uh, he's made, or they've made, I should say, I should not assume, um, a wicked table with a lot of fun encounters on it. Some really quirky, some really dangerous. So why don't we go ahead and make our first traveling random encounter roll? I'll leave it up to you folks how you want to do it. Do you want to... Have one person roll it. Do you each want to do it as they come Raj up? Raj has got the D100. Johnny, so can... yeah, Johnny let... do it. Let yeah, it I'm really that. excited to use this thing, guys. I don't want that to go under uh, underestimated. Okay, here. cool. Make <laughs> make, make that roll, and we'll see what happens. It's the size of a goddamn. We got an 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. Okay. Fun. Um, as you are uh, sort of rounding the crest uh, of this um, uh, turn off from the uh, information station. Um, you are somewhat bewildered to see standing directly in front of you a Mr. Handy. Um, it definitely takes, takes um, well, depending on, on your, your, your movement, uh, who's, whoever's traveling first, whoever's first up um, to, this, to this lineup sees... Um, Within close proximity, a Mr. Handy and its flamethrower is going. And it is like going, going, going. Um, and more interestingly than that, uh, it is it is roasting something. Uh, and whatever it is, it's much like you folks were off on the side of the road. It appears to be on a pit stop of its own. Um, and it's roasting up some barbecue. As uh, it gets a look at the three of you and says... Well, hello there, sirs. It's about time you've returned. I've been preparing this for you. You've been expecting us? You hear, like, some, like, clanking, some, like, really, like, really loud, like, modem noises going on in this thing. <laughs> I, I've been expecting someone. And you're the first I've seen in more modem noises. Do I... A measure of time. Do I do I know you, Robert? Why, I'm Mr. H I'm a Mr. Handy model variant X four nine three four five two. Starts like spouting off like a, a like a giant serial uh, number. Yeah, you can yeah, come. Yeah. No. Oh, y yes, sir. Uh, and I'll kind of mumble to to Grant, and I I will just uh, give Enola May a whistle, and as I do, like she comes to a dead stop, just in the middle of the road, uh, and. I will uh, I'll say, just mumble to, to my two compatriots here, just like, perhaps um, spread out a little for safety's sake. And I'll turn to Johnny and real quick and just like, Johnny, remember, stop, drop, and roll. Should I pull up my gun? Uh, perhaps not yet. Uh, have, have it at the ready. Uh, I am uh, very, uh, very good at science and hacking so i'm not going to get too close to it just yet but i'm going to ask uh ask the robot uh mr handy uh, how long have you been uh here we came through this way not too long ago and you are not here ah yes well there was a a bit of a to-do over at the overlook station i these these pesky varmints have been giving me trouble for some time now and one of them thought they were going to get away, didn't ya? And it's like keeps like roasting whatever this pile of grossness that's currently flaming. Yeah, that's definitely my next question is, 
What is it roasting? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Are you are you asking are you asking it or are you trying to ask with your eyes? Uh, I'm going to. I, I'm actually going to look over at Grant because you have very high perception. So I'm just going to like give you like a little bit of a nod and just ask. Uh, so what is it that you are uh, preparing? What uh, what is this delicacy? Well, I don't know what I call them, but I sure call them a pain in the ass. Can I? Can I do a? You certainly can. Perception. Uh, yeah, we'll say uh, if you do a. Oh uh, God! Actually, don't maybe, be people. Uh, we'll do we'll do perception plus. Um, I guess it'll probably be another perception plus survival uh, to to tell what what this thing. Okay. 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 I'm I'm glad it's perception because my endurance sucks. So. Uh, oh, I what what's up with my roll my dice is not not doing well today. I don't get it. Fifteen thirteen. Okay. So. Uh, this is a good chance to introduce a new mechanic. There is something you guys okay. can do called succeed at cost. Uh, this would be a difficulty one test. Um, so if there's something that you really want to know uh, and you don't make the rolls, you can buy the information from me using act uh, action points. Um, so actually, I think Ooh. you, I think, um, yeah, you, you could, so basically you can bank something to me that I can use against you uh, at a later date uh, if you want to just figure out what in the heck this is. Uh, that also applies if you succeed on a test and you just want to know a little bit more, you can spend action points uh, that way, same as you buy extra dice, to try to try to buy some information off me as well. Which I have to oblige, uh, it's the other trick I'd, for that. I'd really like to know, so let's go ahead and give you some action points. Let's go ahead and give me some action points. Uh, you you take a look at this, and it's it's really hard to tell visually because like this is charred black, um, but the smell is unmistakable to you, Rifleman. That is some grilled rad roach. Okay, okay, that's good to know. I I, I was looking. I uh, realized that uh, Duke. As a dog has keen senses, Ooh. but uh, if I if I realize that it's rad roach, that's probably better that I know it than Duke knows it because Duke can only bark at me, of course. So um, okay, rad roaches. Uh, yeah, I sort of shrug. Um, how uh, how long have you been having a problem with these rad roaches, uh, Mister Microwave? Well, it's uh, hard. I, I hate robots. I that's, hate robots. You hate robots. Good to know. We are learning so much about Grant in episode one that we didn't know in episode 0 0.5. I'm a big fan. Um, he uh, he sort of it takes him a minute to process that Mr. Microwave is is him. Um, oh, well, uh, hard to tell. It's uh, the circuits here. They, his pincer arm comes up and dunk, dunk, hits his dome carapace. Um, and he says, it's, it's been a little hard to keep track of things lately, but oh, if it's uh, been a day, it's been... 200 and some odd years. Damn things, every time I take one out, it seems like another three grow in their place. Now, Mr. Mr. Handy, Mr. Barber. Uh, microwave, if you don't mind. Mr. We, we have our first named MPC in, in, the, in the show, guys. Mr. Microwave. That is you, have, it your, have it your way. Um, you are saying that you have problems with your circuitry. I have problems with a lot of things. Mostly these damn roaches keeps. No, 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 sir. If you would uh, perhaps not uh, flame on, uh, I am quite handy with uh, with robots and circuitry. So I could take a look for you, but to get close enough safely, I, I would ask you to uh, to turn your flamer off. Uh, my my compatriots here, my comrades, will will watch guard for any uh, any rad roach make a couple quick tests yeah okay um yeah i'm spending action points against you guys it feels so fun but also mean um yeah he um he gives you a look up and down yuri and sort of kind of takes a look at the two of you and says now this might sound a little crazy but you're all not rad roaches are you uh do you know uh that rad roaches normally have the ability to speak I don't know that they don't, but you make a fair. good point. All right, okay, fine. Uh, he, uh, just be careful. There's, you know, if anything happens to me, make sure you wipe my hard drive. Uh, clear my browser history. Yeah. 
Delete, delete. I'm gonna look at another man's Mr. Handy. Control, oh. alt, delete. Control, alt, delete. Yeah. Oh, get it out. Yeah, if you um, want to take a look uh, at what's going on with Mr. Microwave, that's gonna be a, a difficulty two. Uh, we'll call it um, intelligence plus, I guess it would be science. Now here is the thing. My science is crazy good. Okay. Um, so my science is actually a three. three. Mm-hmm. Um, and would this tech, would this count as a test, uh, against computers? This would, uh, yeah, sure. Let's say that that's what's happening. Um, mm, maybe explain why, tell me why. Well, what, cause what my hacker perk uh, has the ability to decrease tests to hack computers from one or by one. By one to a difficulty Ooh. one. Um, um, you know what? We're going to let the fates decide on this Let one the uh, fates well, decide. That, that's the question is this a circuitry problem or is this a programming problem okay gotcha uh, mm, this is a nice. okay yeah you know what it's a software issue 100 percent. so you know what i'll i'll he needs a patch he needs a patch pretty hard um he needs a, he needs yeah, a hot sure. fix you know what oh. I'll, I'll, I'll i'll give you this to you um we'll, we'll decrease it from a difficulty two to a difficulty one test good haggling <laughs> excellent rule of cool rule of cool um, <laughs> The rule of cool. So that would be an intelligence uh, plus science uh, is a uh, 12. Target so number 12, roll, okay. Um, I 12 or I'm going to roll 2d20, 12 or below. And that is a 9 and a 12. Okay, so that's a lot of successes. Uh, uh, that is, uh, yeah, two critical successes, I guess, because is it a tag skill science? It is a tag skill. Okay. So oh, you're, dang. my science is crazy good. Okay, man. okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, your action point pool, uh, you only needed one success and you generated four, meaning that your action point pool is now up to three. Uh, I had spent one against you uh, in uh, the Mr. Handy perceiving whether or not you were rad roach threat test, uh, meaning that we are now, not that it's a competition, but we are, it is, and we are tied. Um, we're, uh, you, you start to, um, he tentatively sort of turns his back uh, when he gives his one, one of his three eyes is turned right around watching you three and your companions attentively as you mess around in there. And yeah, you're able to, you know, classic fallout, tick, 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 green screen uh, wraps up in a small window about this big in a hatch that you bring out on the back uh, and you start typing and tapping away. Uh, it's not long after you're able to discover there there's uh, there was uh, basically the equivalent of a Y2K bug uh, in his in his computer stopping him from from fully you know grasping the, the, the passage of time. Um, and as you sort of debug this thing, huh, Unix 2038. Debug. As you debug, as you debug the Mr. Handy, um, he's very quickly as you're typing things is like processing the passage of time in in his head uh and it seems like there's memories that he's suppressed in this time that have either you know memories uh, you know things that he's recorded and seen that are been repressed uh, and as as you're going through random things like oh don't remember leaving that there oh geez oh no another one like he's like quickly oh, like, like re reliving like stuff as it's happening uh and please. you hear him make mention of oh sir no oh i'll try my best good luck to you sir and then triggers back oh my god it's it's been that long this is one like cooked out robot <laughs> ah, oh, i saw what you did there ah, I, ah, I can't the believe it's uh oh my god it's my master my god he's he's still back there oh i i can't thank you enough for what for what you've done but i i have to go make sure he's okay i the the roaches they uh, uh, it's probably a long shot, but I have to check. He uh, starts looking anxiously towards the turnoff, towards the uh, the the um, scenic overlook station. You three, you've you've done me a real service here today. I I, I don't know how long I would have been messing around with these things, but it's I've lost a lot of time. I probably lost too much, but. It's probably the least I can do, but here, he reaches down with his pincers and hands out to you. Each of you uh, add to your inventories one unit of grilled rad roach. Grilled rad roach, baby. Yum. Grilled rad Thank roach. Thank you. I love Thank grilled. You. I have to get back to the overlook. I, I have to see what happened to my sir. 
please, if if you find the time, you 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 come and see me. I'll if everything if there's still a me to see. There's there's so many of them. Uh, and he starts. Hey, uh, hey, some parting wisdom, Mister Microwave. Huh? Uh, it's probably not a good idea to treat as your enemy one of the most common creatures that's covering this molten ball of lava. Uh, there's there's a lot of them. And there's only so much flamethrower fuel, if you know what I mean. How, uh, how many is a lot? <laughs> uh, it, as many grains of sand as there are in the desert. He, like, quickly, like, starts to, like, compute. Oh, my God! You mean they're not just... They're not just here? They're... They're everywhere? Indeed. Uh, gen- I kind of, like... Uh, I should start walking away. I'm already done. <laughs> You're you're done with Mr. Microwave. Uh, I, I, I pat Johnny on the shoulder and I just I, I start walking back towards. Uh, I'm I'm heading towards Longmount. I say I'll scout up ahead. Is your call, Johnny? We could perhaps assist this robot. Uh, there may be uh, some loot or scrap or and I say it very very loud. Perhaps junk or modifications that this man, alive or dead, may have. I don't know. Is your call, son? Well, I think maybe we could uh, swing on back after we finished uh, our current uh, objective here. But uh, let's let's see how things play out in the city, and uh, we'll we'll make a decision then. Fair enough, uh, Mister Microwave. I would suggest uh, perhaps not engaging until we return. Ah, uh, all right. Well, I'll I'll I'll, I'll wait a spell. Lord knows I've waited this long already. Okay. All right. Well, I'll I'll, I'll be here at the turn off uh, if if you all decide to to come back. Uh, I don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll I'll leave it at that. I'll that's just turn to I'll turn that's to Johnny. That's a tortured soul right there. Uh, that hurts. It it hurts my heart to. That's a tortured soul. Uh, I'll turn. I'll turn to Johnny and just say, uh, "His master is like crazy dead, man. Like crazy <laughs> dead." Well, at least we got some dinner out of it, right? Not bad. Uh, grilled rad roach can replenish some hit points. Uh, so uh, Yuri uh, and, and this, unlike raw rad roach, does not um, give you a po- possibility to roll on the disease table. Uh, if you eat raw meat or drink dirty water, uh, you have to do a test, and if you fail, you have to roll a d20 to get a random disease. But Grilled rad roach, uh, you've, uh, Mr. Microwave has burnt the, uh, the the radiation and nastiness from it uh, as you put it into your collective packs and head on down the road to Long Mount. Uh, we're going to take a quick 10-minute uh, break to uh, let us and all y'all watching at home uh, use the facilities and or uh, freshen your beverages or your foods as might be necessary. Thank you so much to those of you who've been watching so far and taking part in the chat. Always, always great to see uh, some some folks and uh, a lot of friendly and familiar WGNR faces uh, from our Discord in there as well. So we're going to take a quick back and we'll be back uh, in about 10 minutes. Uh, we will see all y'all very shortly. Thanks again and we will be back.
we're back. We have it's returned. Good. I, I had to pee so bad. We're, we're, we're learning as we go. This is the first real, like, real stream that we're doing here. Uh, last time in our session 0.5, I forgot bathroom breaks are usually an integral part of, of the streaming ecosystem. Uh, and, um, yeah, this time I remembered, mainly because we all needed to use the bathroom. But uh, thanks for uh, sticking around. Um, yeah, viewer retention. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Uh, glad, glad to see it. Um, we're going to get rocking and rolling right away. Uh, as we continue the journey to Longmount, um, with Rad Roach now in hand, and uh, Mr. And, and Mr. Microwave now behind you, uh, you start to approach uh, some more familiar territory. Um, the the foothills uh, and the valleys clear away a little bit, and you can now see Longmount uh, directly ahead of you. Um, the town. I have a question. Yes, of course. About the about the territory we're in, like. Mm -hmm how how decimated is it like is it did colorado fare well in like is it green and lush or is it like scrubby and like it is capital wasteland scrubby and scruffy um it's it's kind of a neat mix um you've you've done you've been around the block a few times yuri uh, as as a caravan i've done the loop i've done the uh the boulder loop the bolt okay, now that's canon too. The Boulder Loop, indeed, you've done it a few times. Uh, closer to the cities, um, things look more, um, you know, industrial sort of style. A uh, picture, if you will, uh, Capital Wasteland, Fallout Three, a little more skeletal steel buildings, those those sorts of things. Um, where you are, if you look at our lovely map here, which uh, the map for anyone uh, interested at home, uh, this was found on uh, Reddit by the user uh, Elvis Stan, I believe it is. Um, and it's a very, Yay. very neat and, and fun uh, Pit-Boy style map of Colorado. Um, it is there on the uh, tabletop simulator board for uh, you players to look at. And uh, I'll post this in the WGNR uh, Discord as well for anyone who wants to take a look and follow along at home. But uh, you can see a long mount there or long mount. I'm calling it mount because I like it better. Long mount sounds all westerny. Um, sort of in the center, uh, you can imagine okay that this is uh, somewhat like, if, if there were four quadrants of uh, the, the Colorado territories, the great state of Colorado, this is the northeasternmost-ish um, sort, of, sort of area. Um, so uh, the Rocky Mountains, you can see the ridge uh, there with the Boulder Grand Pass, Buchanan Pass, all the different areas that lead you further into the western half of the, of the state uh, and closer towards uh, the the areas uh, which familiar gamers might know as the Mojave Wasteland uh, out, out mm -hmm. and about in that direction. But uh, where you are in Longmount, sort of dead center in the middle of this map, it's a little more arid. Uh, you have you okay. know, your standard, you know, scattered across, uh, you know, red rocket stations, smaller towns like Niwot uh, and smaller towns like Longmount, uh, which you currently reside in. The game map uh, currently on the board in Tabletop Simulator is a little greener than things would actually be. Uh, in here, imagine um, things are a little bit more, a little bit more arid. Um, the this area didn't get hit proper by by nukes. Uh, a lot of the Rocky Mountains um, saved uh, a lot of of the destruction, you know, proper. But uh, yeah, in Boulder, you know, things in Boulder, uh, there is a, a a bustling settlement and civilization there. Um, but their outskirts of town are just absolutely destroyed and pretty treacherous to go through as well. You also know that Denver is just a full-on write-off. Uh, it is a friggin' war zone in there. Denver, also known as Dogtown, uh, has been infested by dogs for, oh, the better part of 200 years, uh, as well as some remnants of Caesar's Legion screwing around as they do uh, all around the state, uh, and you know that the NCR uh, has also uh, made uh, a little bit of a foothold on this side of the Rocky Mountains in the Boulder area. Okay, it's, well, uh, thank it's, you. It's funny you mention that. I think I uh, I rescued Duke uh, outside Dogtown. I'm pretty sure he was uh, he was born that. in there. I love that canonically, Duke. From yeah, Dogtown. that's great. Fucking Duke, Lord of Dogtown. Lord of Dogtown. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. The, the, the Lord. Duke of Earl. Duke of Earl. Duke of Earl. Uh, you Lord wander Duke. in, you mosey in, because there's a lot of moseying going on when you got a Brahmin with you, uh, into the town of Longmount, and it looks exactly as you fucking left it 24 hours ago. There are a few people scattered about on the streets, 
Um, you know, you've got the odd, the odd, uh, you know, s someone taking a siesta uh, up against the saloon, maybe, uh, you know, maybe trying to shake off a, a hard night of drinking at the watering hole, the tavern named the watering hole, also a watering hole. Um, and you've got a couple people milling about. You see uh, a few sort of homesteaders. Uh, who've got their tato crops uh, and m mute fruit, moot fruit. Um, you know, they're harvesting their plants. It's it's a very agrarian style city. Um, mm -hmm. and city being a bit of a stretch. There are probably, you know, 10 to 12 old mobile homes uh, and a handful of, you know, cobbled together shacks that make up the majority of this town. It was a, it was a flyover it was a flyover settlement before the war, uh, and it is now just a spot that people come to on the way to everywhere Just else. a bend in the road. It's a Which bend leads in the road. To, leads me to my next question. I've mm -hmm. been through here, uh, I'm sure, uh, a few times. Do I have a rough estimate about, like, maybe how many people uh, reside in Longmount? So, say again, sir? How, do I have a rough, rough estimate about how many people reside in Longmount, or would you like me to roll for it? Um, yeah, I mean, you you passing through, you would have a, a you know a good ex estimation that there's you know of a permanent residence, probably you know less than less than thirty five uh, folks who actually live here, a couple of families, um, you know Carla who runs the watering hole, as mm -hmm, well mm -hmm. as uh, Bert who's the general mechanic in town. Uh, and and the few homesteaders about. Um, there are some folks who who pass through some more, um, you know, uh, traveling traveling salesmen types who uh, sometimes will set up in the in the open market. Um, but it's very rare to see anyone um, you know really traveling through these days. Honest Abe has uh, the market cornered. He's he's the guy who who brings who brings stuff to Longmount for for everyone for sure. else to buy. Cool. That that informs my conversation with uh, Carla and Bert. So that's really kind of all the information that I needed. Okay. Um, yeah, you uh, you run into town and you see um, you know again this general uh, you know group of people sort of doing going about their daily business and you do see in the marketplace honest Abe. Uh, neither Carla nor Bert are in your uh, immediate vicinity. Um, but you, one would imagine that Bert would be in his, um, his shop uh, and which is, uh, this building here for all of our folks and the watering hole on the opposite kitty corner of town there. Um, you can imagine that, uh, each of them are most likely in their respective, in their respective establishments. What yeah, do I you th want to do? I think as I, uh, as I, I'm going to just tie up Enola May at sort of the closest hitching post that I can find. And as I'm doing it, um, use her as a bit of a shield from uh, wherever um, Bert, sorry, not Bert, uh, where Honest Abe may be, and just say to uh, Johnny and Grant, uh, Johnny, I believe that uh, you might, in your fresh-faced enthusiasm, might have a better way of speaking your way into uh Honest Abe's good graces, but however, maybe if you get in trouble, uh, allow Grant to direct the conversation. And remember, we are only looking for uh, an admission of guilt in this. So if you, he will agree to purchase the uh, the repair manual, so uh, as that Bert cannot have it, and uh, if you press him on the on the raiders, uh, perhaps that is all we need. While, we do, while you do that, I will uh, attempt to uh, speak to Carla and Bert and have them round up uh, the permanent residence of uh, Longmount for an impromptu tribunal. All right, that sounds good to me. Now I just got to figure out this record thing right here. I you literally want... put red tape. It is it is right there, man. I... <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Jeez. Oh, uh, you Corva, you, uh, mm. and then I kind of like pat you on the. I, I straighten myself out a little bit, and I, go, mm, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Is it is the record button? Is the red tape on it? Nice. Grant, please, please. And I kind of like hand you over to Grant a little bit, like, yeah. Come All on, right, come on, Johnny. Uh, we we got this. Just uh, just like we talked about. All right, let's go get him. 
yeah, yeah. Why don't you like? Why don't you guys do your your scene first? Because I don't think mine is going to be as fun or interesting as yours. All right. Sure. All right. Sure. Yeah. You uh, you all wander over to the uh, sort of the center marketplace uh, stall here, uh, which belongs to Honest Abe. Uh, so that would put yourself, yeah, Johnny and do 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 rifleman with Duke. I'm sure in tow. Uh, Mr. Oh, Mi- yeah. Mr. Microwave is no longer a temporary companion with y'all. Goodbye, Mr. Microwave. Yep. Uh, and Mr. Yuri Mr. and Anola, you had. Uh, so, are you going to go see Bert or are you going to see Carla first? Uh, actually, I'm going to go see Carla first because I think that she, being the uh, tavern owner and, okay. uh, you know, uh, proprietor, uh, probably has more sway with the people and has more people in her uh, establishment at any time. So Okay. That yeah. makes sense to me. Too. Good call. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You. Uh, you two, Johnny and Rifleman, uh, make your way over to, to Honest Abe. Uh, and Honest Abe is there, uh, tinkering with his supplies uh, as he normally does uh, in the back, in sort of the back room of his sort of tented over, but still made of you know old pieces of plywood, um, shack slash stall there. And uh, you can see that he does have uh, his his little teenage helper there uh with him who i don't think we even named last time running the show but we'll call them amanda looking through the chat for a username we'll call them do 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 we'll call them I think our audience could name her. Our audience could could name her if if anyone's watching. But uh, the the uh, yeah the 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 young teenager which is helping out at um, at his stall uh, as as the last time you approached. um, When Honest Abe catches an eye of anyone coming towards his cart, he quickly moves his proxy out of the way. Get get get, move alongside. Oh ha ha, gentlemen, you've 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 returned. Oh uh, my favorite customers. It's uh, it's nice. Well. My only customers in the last, well, a few days at least. Uh, what uh, what can we do for you? How did uh, how did things go on your uh, little little quest there? I hope those uh, hope those rounds. Uh, well, I hope you still have them with you. I hope you didn't have use to use them. Oh, hey, Mister A, I I think maybe we need to have some words with you, uh, Grant. Do you? Yeah. Uh, listen, Abe. Uh, we we should probably have a talk somewhere a little quieter. He uh, gets a, a bit of his his very sort of chipper, false, you know, um, his Trixie and false demeanor changes a little bit when you say this. So oh, I, uh, well, I'm not sure what uh, what what this could be about. I, uh, I, but uh, what, uh, what 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 is it uh, you folks are after today? Is something a little bit more uh, scandalous or pr- risque? Uh, let's uh, let's say a little bit profitable. His eyes beam uh, at at this. Oh uh, well, I uh, I always say, I always say, make myself a profit. It might be a good day, especially around these parts. What? Um, sure. Why don't uh, Why don't y'all uh, step back uh, here? Uh, what? Um, I'll have uh, I'll have Hondat run the store. I'm just grabbing a name from our chat. Um, Hondat, you uh, you you run this. Uh, you you watch out for anyone else coming through. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to the. I'm gonna talk to the business men here. Come on back. You uh, as he sort of waves you on. He moves aside a beaded curtain uh, into into the back room of his shop, which is uh, as you as you make your way towards it, you can see is just scattered with just junk hither and yon, and literally most of it is just junk. I mean, like if you you know like the Little Mermaid when on, when she's got like the the forks and all the stuff and like thinks it's all treasure he's like okay careful don't yeah don't come too close to that now it's like a broken coffee cup he's like i've been uh been keeping my eye on that one got a customer got a customer in boulder who's got uh, something for that one um but uh, here 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 he like um dusts off a couple old chairs what uh what can we do for you here i i, I notion i i try to motion to johnny try to give him the nod and a little little wink like well, we I, I tell you we had a had quite a time at that library I tell you looking uh, l- looking for for you know anything of value out there and it seemed uh, seemed the individuals that we ran into there were were really there for some sort of a purpose as if as if they were kind of set there 
on some sort of a mission, right? Right, Grant? Do you think that do you think that's fair assessment? Yeah, absolutely. There were uh there were a number of uh personnel that were uh that were present in the library that are not in the library anymore. Oh, um uh, well I, I hope that uh they didn't give you too too hard a time. Uh we all know it can be a dangerous place out there. You know, thankfully they 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 done us actually quite a kindness by by retrieving the very item that we were sent there to retrieve. Now it, I, I don't know if he's been recording. I, I pressed record. That's why I did the God, whole recording. I didn't want to table talk, but Jesus Christ, I was like, please, the, the re- please that, remember that you press fucking record. The record thing <laughs> that was like on our walk to the booth. I, I've you been recording. horses ass. Please record. <laughs> it's like, you're not even in the same location that we're I'm at. I'm not. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh You're just God. in the bar, well, motioning to your you. Like, you for, for story purpose, you've been recording. Hey, listen, listen. I've Wing. been recording, dog. Okay, yeah. Recording, yeah. Okay. Like Good. Whole Good. Time. Okay. Okay. Oh. okay. Where, where are we? Oh yeah. They they actually done us quite a kindness by by retrieving and and placing right in the middle of the room the exact item that we were searching for. Like, that, ain't that some kind of coincidence? Huh. That then them folks were looking for the same thing that we were it seems it uh it sounds like it might be what um what is it uh you all were we're after there anyway i know bert had you off for uh <clears throat> some some sort of uh some sort of search there but uh, what was it uh, y- y'all were after because if it's uh of any consequence i might be interested in taking it off your hands that's interesting, cause I mean, we were looking for for magazines with some some good information on on re- repair and 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 of the like, right? So we we grabbed a whole pile of them, really. Uh, you know, and any number of uh, uh, repair manuals. There's one, I believe, to do with uh, nuclear repair of sorts. Oh, is that something that might interest you potentially? Ah. Yeah. You don't suppose you want uh, water aerobics for ghouls? Uh, we did pick that up as well, honest Abe. Well, I but uh, I wouldn't be. He's he's. You can tell. Um, you know, he's 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 trying to keep his excitement down somewhat. But uh, yeah, you know what? Um, I could uh, I could pay. I, I'd be interested in taking some of that literature off your hands. I um, what say I? Uh, I'd say I make you a deal. Maybe some. Uh, oh, I don't know. 25 caps per magazine, and, uh, yeah, I might, you know, yeah, I could be interested in the, the repair one, too. I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd take that off your hands. Um, you would recall that listening to the holotape, uh, the offer was 75 caps per magazine to the Raiders. So he's, he's, uh, he's I, undercutting you. I need you to know that I'm giving him the stinkiest eyes that I can give. Okay. It's cool. not just the stink eye, it's the stinkiest eye. Let me do a check of perception and survival uh, for our check. guy. Oh wow, yeah, no. Um he 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 most certainly catches catches the drift that you're you're sending here. Um, um he uh well I um I'd be uh yeah. it would be amiss to me to say that uh, the the repair manual in particular, I, I could, uh, I'd be very interested in that. Uh, how, how much, uh, how much would it take for me to, uh, to get that, to get that off your hands? Ooh. I, uh, I nudge Johnny with my elbow a little. Well, uh, I can't see us really parting ways with any of these magazines for I don't know what's a fair price say 75 caps is I feel like that's kind of an appropriate price to pay for magazines uh what uh, what rhymes with a hundred honest Abe uh, full full hundred oh I, I get it that's how oh yeah um okay um well, seeing as uh, 
Seeing as my bartering skills aren't so good in a roll to 20 on my <laughs> checks, um, I think that sounds pretty fair. For those of you at home, that is, in this game, uh, bad. incredibly bad. That, that, is a yeah, that, that is a complication. In fact, uh, it is as bad as it could get. Um, Honest Abe is sweating bullets like like it, it is he is he's he goes to like grab a drink from his watering canteen it's just like <laughs> he 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 knows he he catches the drift he he very much picks up what what y'all are laying down um yeah i um seems to me i uh, recall um 75 caps about being the going rate for uh, lit, lit literature of, of that kind, but, uh, considering, um, considering maybe we could keep this transaction just between the two of us, uh, I think I could go as, as high as a hundred. That, uh, that sounds fair to me. Now, as long as, uh, want... again, co confidentiality might, might be key. Why, why now is the confidentiality of, of such importance to you? You know, we, we, it, it seems to me that we could have potential other buyers that deserve the opportunity potentially for purchasing these items, you know? And, and why the need for such confidentiality? Well, uh, I may, there, there may be some interested parties in, in, in town, of course. Uh, I think we all know who we're talking about there, but, uh, let's just say that I might have, um, some interested parties of my own when it comes to um, the oh the 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 uh, well the well-being of of uh, of these folks here in Longmount is of course my my number one priority as it always has been serving the great populace for oh some some ten odd years now but. Uh, I'm uh, looking to retire myself, and I may have a lead on, um, I may have a lead on my own retirement plan, if you know what I mean, and this magazine, and this town's fusion core, I might take it out of this place. And, and, and I don't assume that that fusion core is something that is, is, would be handed over willingly from the townsfolk, and you said something else, that, that the, the... Safety of the townsfolk might be in jeopardy for some reason. Now, why might that be? Well, that reactor, it, uh, it's no secret that things have been a little bit, uh, a little bit rough for us long mounters as of late. Uh, the last, the last week or so, power's been very skittish, and without power, this town will fail. It'll fail in a heartbeat. It's already been on the edge of failing ever since I lived here, and, well, if I can, uh, if, if, uh, if my retirement plan comes through, if my investment, if I get my return on investment, it may, uh, it may spell good news for myself, getting out of this one Brahmin town, but it may not uh, bode so well for the rest of Longmount. Can I, can I try a barter check you to try to get some, re some rapport going? Sure, let's I do would, that. Uh, I would, I, I, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say the following. Well, uh, for those of us who have tasted nothing but our own saliva for a period of time, uh, being able to retire with some caps in your pocket is a pretty attractive thing. I uh, think you know what I'm talking about, eh? Honest Abe? Sure. Let's do... I need to look up Honest Abe's stats quickly, but yeah, let's do a little uh, barter situation. I need to look at the trader... The trader stats. By the way, boys... I was biting the shit out of my tongue because for a second there, it looked like you had completely forgotten the plan. I was like, damn it. But I was like, just from a muffled from behind a bunch of like paper thin walls. You're up against the wall of the bar that's nearest yeah. to where we are. And you're just yelling. Yeah. Like, what is that? What's that sound? Yeah, I get, yeah, we're gonna do a, a bit of a contested role there, there, Grant. Um, so yeah, you're you're looking to uh, beat beat uh, difficulty two, uh, speech and barter uh, test. So it's gonna be speech, yeah, uh, sorry, charisma and and barter. My my mistake. Charisma and barter. It's a tag skill, hey. which in this system is fun because one success is two successes. Two Let's success. roll it. One is two. Double sevens, baby. 
which I think is a three plus my charisma is a nine. So that's four successes. You are living large. You success uh, by by two extras. Um, so well well done. You have in fact, um, honest Abe looks looks at you and um, well, uh, I think uh, I think retirement sounds good to all of us, doesn't it? Now I um, listen I. I think we're all on the same page here at this stage of the game. Uh, if uh, I'll, I'll, cutting cutting our losses and cutting in doesn't sound like the worst plan, um, how about this? You all help me get this reactor, the fusion core, out of the reactor, and I uh, I could use some uh, I could use a long gun like you and well. Whatever, whatever this guy is pointing at Johnny. At your service. <laughs> I need if I can get if I can get my hands on that fusion core and get my ass to Boulder. Well, I'll cut you in. How does how does ten percent of ten thousand caps sound? Oh dang, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of dollar dollar bills, y'all. Dollar dollar caps, y'all. Even even my dog Duke is like. Lighting is terrible. I'm sorry. Contemplating a life of crimes. Like... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have just been granted uh, the quest between a boulder and a hard place. I'm deciding it's called. Oh, hey. Um, hey. hey. To um, things have taken a turn in Longmount. Uh, you have been now offered an antithesis quest. Uh, should you decide to uh, remove the fusion core uh, and accompany Honest Abe to meet his Yet to be revealed, a buyer in Boulder. Uh, you may sell this fusion core, uh, at least for an offer of a thousand caps. Damn. Early retirement, Eat. baby. Early. Retirement. That hurts. Regardless of how you decide you know that I'm completing the half of my part of this plan, not knowing yeah. about any of this. At that offer, uh, we will now switch scenes over to a saloon uh the doors the doors of a rusty old saloon open as uh yuri andropov strolls through the doors of the watering hole um you see uh there's a, a few tables here populated uh with you know a couple people a piece um most most are just just drinking is what's happening carlo uh again is doing her best uh to sort of stifle her frustrations as she's handing out what little bit of, uh, you know, swill she has left uh, as the lights are flickering on and off uh, inside the um, the saloon. She's behind the bar, uh, and the world is your oyster. What do you want to do? Absolutely. Uh, I'll walk in, and I, I've been here a few times, and I know Carla, so I'll just say, uh, Carla. Hello. Oh, hi, hey, Shug. Um, Thank you, darling. You are uh, one of the only barkeeps that uh, welcome people like me with open arms, and I very much appreciate it. People like you? You mean people with caps, right, honey? Exactly. Precisely. Speaking of which, I will have a uh, Tito vodka, uh, and uh, perhaps you will accompany me to your uh, computer ter terminal. Uh, I have something that... Uh, I believe that you must see. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. sure. Uh, one, one second. She reaches down, gets a bottle of XXX moonshine on it, uh, pours it into a cracked shot glass. Uh, sorry? That it's, it's not Dozekis, it's Trezekis. It's Trezekis, <laughs> yeah, 100%. It's Trezekis. Yeah, yeah. Um, pours this shot of vodka uh, and passes it over uh, to you um, as she... Uh, Oh, li lightning fast. It's down his gullet. Like, lightning fast. And he just puts it back on the table. Okay. Uh, yeah. I like it. Um, I, need to, I need to find vodka and what that does to you. But we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Uh, and she motions back your way um, to, to the small back room, which is uh, just an old sort of desk uh, set of drawers. Uh, and uh, you can see that it probably doubles as either her bedroom or just a crash room, flop room, uh, when she's not working. She sits down uh, at the desk and kicks her feet up uh, on sits in a chair, kicks her feet up on the desk. What uh, what can we do you for, Mr. Yuri? 
Well, as you know, Bert has sent us to the Niwata library for a uh, manual to repair the uh, fusion core. While we were there, we ran into some unsavory types uh, that we dispatched with helps of the uh, Trons that were there in the library. Um, oh, sounds like a heck of a time. We found this damaged hollow tape uh, on one of them, and uh, I was man I managed to repair it. I would like you to uh, take a look at it, and I hand it over to her. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Sure looks like this a hollow tape, off, all right. This came off the leader, um, and it has to deal with uh, on the stave here in town. Oh, that doesn't sound. If you want so to good. look at the. Uh, the back and forth between the two, the correspondence here, she, and I kind of like point at the uh, at the screen. These two messages here seem to be very interesting. Yeah, she uh, pops in. Oh, and Raj, I like how your cat just made an appearance. That was lovely. Um, uh, love the cat. Got it. Got to love them pets. Um, yeah, she pops Meow. it. She pops it into the computer and gives it a doof, doof, sort of shake and starts clicking away. You tell this isn't her strong suit, but it, it doesn't take her long to sort of figure out um, what uh, what's been going on um, with with this tape, and you know she sort of tunes, she adjusts the tracking on it, and uh, and sure enough, she she's got the the interchange back and forth. Her eyes, she's reading it, and you can see she's kind of at one point she get a really scowled brow, and then sort of more of a tempered look as she as she looks this through. Huh. Well then. Honest Abe, you know, I never trusted that guy. He's he's been overcharging me for potatoes I use to make this make this stuff for years now. I mean, I knew I knew it couldn't cost this much, but nah, that's a that's a that's a fight for a different day, I guess. But are you telling me that that, that snake in the grass was after was after the reactor core? It would seem that he hired uh, a band of raiders to steal the reactor core. Oh my. from your town and that would uh, explain flashback uh when our <laughs> when our crew went to talk to bert initially and we noticed that there was some damage to the fusion core we asked bert about it and he was like uh, uh and he was kind of cagey about it so that was very uh peculiar to yuri so flash forward uh we're in meteor res uh i think that's the right anyway doesn't sure. matter yeah whatever fuck it uh, and then, I, yeah, I'm going to say, it would seem that uh, the damage that I noticed uh, to the reactor core um, was from the band of raiders that uh, Honest Abe has hired to steal uh, it uh, to sell to a uh, another buyer somewhere else, of which I do not know. But hmm. I do know that Honest Abe planned to betray your town. Oh, this does not bode well at all. All of this is his doing, man, that... I got words for him. Well, I'd say, I mean, it's one thing. We've had, we've had, you know, hucksters and snake oil salesmen and you name it come through and take advantage of the folks here in town. But usually we just... If you're looking for snake oil, I have a wonderful price for you. Very <laughs> top quality snake squeezings for you. <laughs> snake squeezings. Well, now, um, well, well, we can, that's a, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we can talk we'll about that later, too, but later, but, later, but, later. It might, be, it might be for another time, but we, normally we just run them out of town and either by, you know, by choice or by force, or, you know, we got, we got enough room in the graveyard for another, but honest, Dave, that's, uh, that's a tough one. If, without him, this, I mean, the generator's one thing, but. I mean, it keeps the lights on, but Abe keeps everything else coming to town. I'd be inclined to, you know, send him off the long walk of a short dock. But if we don't have, we don't have supplies. Longmount's got nothing. He's the only trader we ever get around these parts. Ugh. I. Uh, what one of I am the only trader? He is the only trader that lives around these parts. He's got the connections. If it wasn't if it wasn't for him, I mean you y'all probably wouldn't be down here in the first place. It's She said connections, right? Yes. At that, my eyebrows kind of like you are aware that on the stave is not the only uh, trader. Uh and if you're looking for connections, I happen to know that the NCR and 
Crimson Caravan are pushing into this territory. I am not Crimson Caravan per se, but I am affiliated. I have done business with them, and I know. Uh, perhaps I could persuade them to run a few trade routes through here, help grow the town, and also alleviate you of your burdens uh, relying on Honest Abe. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's the the vodka, as you put it, speaking there, uh, Yuri, but uh, you're making a lot of sense to me right now. Speaking of which, I discovered you get plus two HP for your uh, potato vodka, so that might uh, heal you up a little bit. I also think you might have a chance to roll on an alcoholism table, but we'll we'll come to that when I don't have to sift through the rule book to find it. Got it. Um, well, I gotta say, I mean, if you can... I mean, it sounds like a pretty good deal. I don't can't say we know too much about these new California taps. I mean, Legion was bad enough, and we barely ever had to deal with them. I mean, we only heard about it secondhand. But yeah, I mean, I'm if you can get if you can if you can promise me that getting rid of, if we get rid of Abe, you can get us you can make sure that you find a a worthy supplement to make sure that you know things the caravans keep running on time here in Longmount then. Yeah, all right. I'm inclined. What do What do you think? Uh, what do you think we need to do? I mean, last thing Last thing we need is uh, Last thing we need is old Abe screwing around with us behind our backs, and sounds like he's up to no good anyway. But yeah, lesser of two evils. All right, I'm with you. Then uh, I think that you should gather Bert and the other uh, elders of the town, business owners, etc. My uh, comrades have, uh, I hope, by this time, uh, secured his confession. And you may do with him as you wish. Huh. Well, it's not me. I'm, it's not what I'm worried about. I mean, I... Listen, I just work here. I do what I can, but uh, old Bert, he might have an axe to grind. That generator, it's his baby. I will go speak to him briefly, and... Uh, I'll pop, I pop the, the, um, uh, hollow tape out, uh, and yeah, I don't want to have to like go through a big rigmarole with Bert either, yeah, yeah, but yeah, like, sure. yeah, I can just basically say, I was like, all right, Carla, I need you to gather the, uh, the citizens of Longmount, uh, we're about to have a trial of Honest Abe. A trial of Honest Abe. You have gained another quest look at us full of friggin quests you haven't even completed the first one and you got two other ones uh we'll call this one um uh something caravan that's the name of the quest something caravan no um um we'll call it su supplies like surprise with an with Surprise! <laughs> with, with, with with an exclamation point. Um, well, so man. you now have between a boulder and a hard place and supplies, um, and <laughs> and out you go. Uh, yeah, Carla goes to work quickly uh, on on this. You know, word spread word spreads fast in a small town, as as we all know, and it spreads really fast in a smaller town of about thirty five people. Um, behind the scenes, it's, it doesn't take long for you know whispers and hushed tones to go around that uh that honest abe is about to uh is about to go on trial uh you go to bert uh, and relay this information uh and it doesn't take long for uh you know the few words to get out of his mouth where uh he takes uh his big old wrench bessie and puts it into his tool case and pulls out his 44 revolver and walks on out through the door to meet with the rest of the townsfolk smash cut two we did it johnny smash cut two. smash cut two. johnny and rifleman um in the back room of honest abe's shop um you have uh been offered this lucrative deal uh and have the evidence to do so uh what's your next move uh i i i want to um we get toast to our newfound arrangement at the local tavern uh -huh. Oh, oh. I, could, I could, I could uh, blow the froth off a few with you, gentlemen. Why don't we, uh, why don't we celebrate this? Uh, he he grabs, uh, you know, goes through his stuff and grabs uh, an equivalent amount of junk. He doesn't, honestly, he doesn't have caps, but he's got junk, so he's gonna go and trade, uh, trade some for with with, with Carla. 
Before we leave his uh, his establishment, sure. I um... so uh, if this is going to be a newfound partnership we have, I wouldn't mind getting a bit more ammunition. It's hard to come by. I need three oh eight. Sure. Um, maybe you could give me a couple so that I can use them to help you not die. What do you think? Hmm, you, uh, you, you looking for, you looking for this on the house, I imagine. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's part of the arrangement. Uh, a rifle is useless without, uh, a rifleman. Well, I can't argue with that logic now, can I? All right, well, how about, how about this? I'll, uh, give y'all a bit of a, bit of a stipend. I think that's a word I read once in a, in a dictionary. Whoa. Um, that well, sounds uh, right to me. Yeah, sure. How about how about this? Uh, I'll uh, I'll give y'all uh, yeah per diem we'll say on uh, on any goods that you may need, and uh, we'll we'll just we'll take it out of your uh, we'll take it out of your contract. We'll take it out of the thousand caps. How's how's that? Yeah, sure. I've got uh, I've got a little bit of ammo kicking around. He uh, actually Grant, why don't you roll yeah. for me? Um, one no, we'll go uh, yeah roll two. We'll call it two, no, one, one D20, and you'll get one D20's worth of ammunition. A single D20, I rolled a nine, Okay. so I'm going to get nine. He, he rifles uh, through uh, nice. his, his, <laughs> ammo, his ammo supply, and like he's like looking through, no, not this one, not this. Nothing's labeled, nothing's like, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all by eye, and he, he pulls out uh, nine rounds of 308 ammo uh, says all right well we'll call it uh what i don't know maybe uh three dollars per so yeah okay i'll just i'll i'll put it on your tab how's that sam that sounds wonderful i appreciate your uh your generosity he, honest abe he and i up look at him a little too i look at him a little too long and i sort of i i pat him on the back and i uh and i'm not pushing him to the door but i'm sort of like guiding him out his stall let's say after i get the ammo sure um yeah he he he's receptive to this but he he resists a little bit at first uh, the the knowing the knowing look is a little a little it doesn't rest so easy with a but he follows suit uh and and he comes with and as he steps out into the daylight um the beaded curtain pulls away and he uh yells to uh his his trusty companion hondat I watch the store. Well, yeah, we're gonna go uh, have ourselves a bevy over at the watering hole. And he looks out and sees the entirety of Longmount gathered oh. in in front of him. Uh, it, you know, within within a couple meters of of the stall, sort of not surrounding, but all around in a circle, a large semicircle through the market. Every single person in Longmount, which isn't a lot, but it's enough when they're all gathered together for the first time in a long time, uh, are all looking honest Abe square in the face. And 35 people is a lot of people when they all hate you. When they're all they, pissed off. Yeah, have you ever been hated by 35 people in the same room? All at the yep, same time? Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Yeah. Ooh, it's a lot. In the center is Yuri, uh, flanked on Nobody either knows. side by <laughs> Carla and uh, our our man Bert. Uh, Bert just seething uh, with forty four and um, and giant monkey wrench in hand. Uh, Carla with a double barrel shotgun. You know, you got it bro broken open, hanging over one arm. Uh, hanging out with a, a large cigar out her mouth. Um, and as uh, as you round the edge of the stall and sort of hits a dead stop, um, Honest Abe looks looks at Yuri and says, Oh, what? You, what? What? Uh, what are we? What's, uh, what seems to be the matter here, France? Oh, Miss Dave, you are uh, charged, I suppose, would be the worst, best way to say this, with uh, treason. Uh, I have evidence here, and I believe that my compatriots, and I sort of motion you guys over to the other side to get you, yeah, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Johnny's <laughs> fucking waving at me. Did you turn it off? 
Did you turn turn it off? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I remember doing that. What? Uh, you. Oh god. Get over here. Get up. Come you. on. You double. Uh, so I should have known better than to trust a vault dweller. So yeah, as 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 my comrades uh, walk across the uh, the courtyard, I, I will just say. Uh, we came across evidence in the Niwat library that you uh, had plans to steal the fusion core uh, from Longmount and sell it to an unknown party. <laughs> I would highly suggest that you throw yourself upon the mercy of the town and uh, admit to your crimes, confess to them. Uh, I will do my best to persuade the town from not killing you. However, I cannot guarantee. Ah, uh, this uh, hearsay and conjecture. I, I don't, I don't need to sit here. Johnny, if you would please. Yeah, he's got it queued up. Play. You double time and no good. I, I don't need uh, uh, this doctored. Where, where's it's fake fake news? news. I don't know. Great news! You really <laughs> turned out to be quite a disappointment, honest Abe. I expected you a little, a little bit more honest. Oh. Johnny's like app, like really, really offended that honest Abe he's is hurt. not honest. He's hurt. He's not straight up. He's really hurt about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I was gonna cut you all in. You know, and sold me out. A thousand? You know how much a thousand caps is? That's nine hundred ninety-nine more than one. That's a lot. Uh, uh, at this, I will turn to uh, Carla and uh, and Bert and say, I think you have all the evidence you need. It is your decision on what you would like to do with, uh, with Honest Dave here. We are not executioners. Uh, we only bring the evidence. It is your town, and uh, I believe it was uh, Dalmatians 913 that says, uh, he who passes the judgment does the deed. Bert, uh, at, at this, he sort of tempers a bit. Um, <sighs> Abe, I had half a mind to put you in the ground two minutes after I heard what you done did. That generator keeps everything going here. You were supposed to be well, you were supposed to be one of the good ones. After all this time? Well, I hey, have... Perhaps uh, it would uh, be beneficial for your existence to tell us who hired you to erase Longmount from Colorado. <sighs> Wasn't about the damn town. They didn't give a, they didn't give a hoot nanny about this town. Nobody gives a hoot nanny about this town. It was the core. Who is they? It's the core. He wants the core. That's all he wanted. I don't know his name. I met him in Boulder on my last run through. Called himself MacArthur. Said, oh, MacArthur, hey. Said he MacArthur. wanted. Said he wanted himself that core as a. I don't know why he didn't say why. I didn't ask. He offered me. He offered me a king's ransom for it. Y'all would have done the exact same thing. You can judge me all you want, but ten thousand caps buys freedom. Caps is, caps is freedom around these parts. That much freedom goes a long way. Y'all can look me in the eyes and tell me you wouldn't have done the exact same thing. I'll call I, you uh, a liar. I wouldn't have done the exact same thing. Well, you're a little too happy for my liking. You ain't spent enough time out here, son. You don't know what it's like. Bloat flies and death claws and mutants. You don't know, man. You weren't there. You weren't there. You ain't seen nothing. I uh, I step forward a bit and I, uh, I I'm cradling my rifle like it's uh, in the sort of like forward cradle. I'm not I'm not aiming at anybody, but I'm I'm holding it. Honest Abe, the uh, the road to redemption's a rocky one, and it seems to me that you need someone to care about you more than you need the caps, because at the end of the day, the caps buy you stuff. But if people are around you and they're willing to work with you to give you stuff that's worth more than a thousand caps or 10,000 caps or a hundred thousand caps. 
So it seems to me that you've got a choice, and one of them is one of the bullets you just gave me, and the other one is uh, a different choice. So what are you going to do? Well, it's not much of a choice now, is it? All right, well. Fine. You got me. You got me. I was going to take the reactor. I was going to take the core. I was going to sell it in Boulder. Honestly. But, yeah. I, I, have a counter, I have a counter proposal to you. Mm. I need someone to send word to the Crimson Caravan and establish an honest trade route here. It seems that you owe this town a debt. And it seems that this would be a very easy and simple thing for you to do, a man of your obvious business acumen, to establish a trade route here. Might buy you some positive feelings from the people here. However, I will warn you that if you pull any of this bullshit with the Crimson Caravan, they will have you crucified along the road. Not giving me much of a choice between a bullet or heading down the caravan, but I could I could give it a go. But I'll be honest, I don't have I don't have much more pull than this. I from what all y'all saying to me, I mean. I'll go. If it's going to clear this debt, I ain't ever coming back. I think that would be best. And I kind of look at Carla and Bert. Think you Either that, back? or you do come back. And you keep doing what you've been doing, minus some of what you've been doing. And uh, you're the traitor that this town needs. And you're part of the solution and not part of the problem. We're going uh, to do to you. a contested roll. Uh, we're going to do a um, speech. Uh, sorry, a charisma plus... Um, what's the word? Charisma plus... Yeah, plus speech. Uh, that's that's what we're going to do. Um, whomever wants to make the test, uh, and someone can do an assist if they want. Um, Dibs the fuck out. I have a yeah, melted you do it. face made of green cheese. Ow. <laughs> you do it. You okay. do it. And I'm not. I'm. I'm definitely not trying to like. This is like a a mutual thing. Okay. All right. I, yeah. I mean, I'll roll it, but I'm a ghoul, so people so, don't listen to me at all. Sure. We're gonna. We're gonna give it. We're gonna give it a go. It's a. Uh, and so uh, you can roll two d twenty, uh, Yuri, uh, and uh, someone wants to assist, they can roll an additional single okay. d twenty as well. This is gonna be a tough one, though. Uh, Jensen, Grant is a D three test to convince Honest Abe to change his ways. Uh, otherwise, he's oh, ready to how many to fucking himself. action points do we have to spend? Uh, a bunch. You currently have a total of five. Okay, well, how many can I spend in total? Five. You can on any one uh, roll. You can have a maximum of five D twenties on any roll. Good. So you could spend uh, three action points to buy uh, a, your max D twenties. Oh, do it. we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, okay. All well, of them. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and make this interesting. And I'm gonna spend all of my action points to do that as well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna you're, roll. You're entitled. You're entitled to do it as as I am. Uh, so you we're guys are gonna roll five d fives. Uh, four for Justin and one for Grant. And I'm gonna roll four. Uh, so this is gonna be a difficulty. Actually, we'll just say whoever gets the most successes comes out on on top so your target number uh justin is it's charisma plus charisma plus speech that's a big five five is my target number that's low. i didn't help you i'm sorry no Here that's why go. i said i i didn't want to do that <laughs> do it do it roll it yes i got a critical success okay an exclamation point and a five a 19 and an 18 and so i got two fails so much going one on. yeah. success one critical success and grant gets to assist me okay yeah my assistance was not helpful i'm sorry no. so the you roll a 17 in there i rolled a 19 an 18 oh, okay. yeah. a 5 and a critical success so uh it was a tie as far as successes 
but because it's a difficulty three test, uh, complication range is what is it? I think it's seventeen to twenty. Um, so a couple things are gonna happen all at once. Um, <laughs> Great. <laughs> let me all just happy. check the uh, complication table. Yes. Okay. Um, you yeah, tied you on success. Um, yeah. Everyone. Everyone dies. Reroll new characters. <laughs> Um, oh. <laughs> Honest Abe looks down, uh, and he looks back up, pulls out a double barrel shotgun, and we're going to leave it at there for today. Oh, damn! You mother dun, 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 dun. Honest Abe Whoa. has filled his fists and drawn on y'all, but we're going to call that for today's session. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. What's going to shoot? What, he's going to shoot 35 <laughs> people with a double the barrel dice, shotgun? The dice do what the dice going to do. You had, you had some complications. You tied on the test and a complication. Honest Abe sees no way out of this but to fight. Uh, and we're going to leave that. Gonna shoot me. That's I, great, though. I ain't, that's, that's I ain't saying fun. what's happening. Uh, it's an Old West showdown at high noon. Um, that's going to do it for our first episode, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, it's so great to see so many people uh, watching and sticking sticking around uh, through this. Uh, a good old buddy friend of the channel, Ryan Gale, um, popping into the chat and having lots of, lots of talking back and forth. Uh, Cody Miller... Um, a good old boy uh, running our Discord over there um, as well. Connor, um, thanks so much, everybody, for watching at home. And thanks to our players for, for getting involved. Uh, this replay will be available uh, very shortly, as soon as YouTube is done processing it. Uh, and uh, furthermore, make sure uh, you stay tuned for our next episode next week. Between then, uh, you make sure you're checking on our social medias and whatnot for the giveaway to win yourself a set of Fallout dice ooh, fallout custom ooh. dice don't worry as mentioned in the previous uh, top it will be this same dice set but not the same ones i used because covid is still a thing um so look for more details on that and uh thank you so much everyone for watching thank you players uh we will be back in two weeks time with episode two but that's going to be a wrap from us and the wgnr crew uh thanks again and we'll see you in the wasteland Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Also, this is voice mod for uh, for Ryan's interest. Voice mod. I believe it's voicemod.net. Voicemod.net. There you go. Thanks so much uh, for for getting involved. We like we like to keep things spicy around here, and Grant's got the spiciest voice of all. He sings the bass. Take care, everyone. We'll see you in two weeks' time at 7 p.m. Adios, muchachos.